Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today in San Francisco, California, where we're expecting a major product announcement from our friends at FLIR and DJI. Let's go now to the Marina Theater and see what they've got in store for us. And one of the key things that people keep approaching us for, asking us almost on a daily basis, is to up start opening up this system in particular to thermal imaging. And so far, the only real option that people have had is to take small cameras like the FLIRVIEW Pro and install it on the bottom of one of our smaller quadcopters, set up a video transmission system, and go from there. Well, that ends up being a bridge too far for a lot of first-time users of aerial equipment. So today, I'm very excited to announce a strategic collaboration with FLIR. I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Jeff Frank, the Senior Vice President of Strategy at FLIR. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about FLIR, I'm going to give you the 30-second corporate overview. Um, we are the world's largest supplier of infrared and thermal cameras to the commercial industry. We basically lead the market in those areas. We bring to, to bear on this uh, about $1.6 billion in sales, about 3,000 people worldwide, um, six business segments that are focused really on one very, very simple concept, and that's to measure and visualize temperature, heat, in the world around us. Because the reality is, is that everywhere around us, in this room right now, if you're outside, doesn't matter where you are, every object, everything that's in the scene is either em emitting or reflecting thermal energy that's completely invisible to your eyes. You can't see it. And so what we do is we provide the world with a new sixth sense. I mean, we're sensor manufacturers. At the end of the day, a drone has really one purpose, and that is to position a sensor in three-dimensional space. <clears throat> By being able to position those sensors in 3D space, it completely changes the value proposition in a very, very positive way. So we view drones as an important extension to the capability of what we do. As a part of our strategic collaboration, today we're announcing our first true foray into thermal imaging. The DJI XT uh, camera combines the first class image stabilization technology developed by DJI with the world leading uh, thermal imaging capabilities of FLIR's cameras. I'd like to ask uh, Jeff to give us some of the specific uh, specifications of why the system is so powerful. The Zenmuse XT contains one of our most advanced cameras that we build. These are uncooled microbolometer based cameras, provide excellent image quality in a really wide variety of applications. These cameras are state of the art. Large, high resolution, 640 by 512, in the infrared industry is considered a very high resolution sensor. XT camera incorporates DJI's LightBridge technology so that you're able to see what the camera is seeing at a distance up to five kilometers away from the transceiver. But then it also fully incorporates into the DJI Go app. You have a wide variety of options for controlling the camera from a great distance. So not only are you able to see what the camera is seeing, you're able to angle the camera, you're able to uh, spot meter, you're able to get on the spot temperature readings of different objects that you're seeing from the sky. So this is a really powerful tool that will just make it easy for anybody to plug and play, get up in the air, and get the information that they're looking for. Beyond just the technology itself, it's also about what how you actually process the images. So Jeff, do you want to explain a little so bit about the software? Just briefly here, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this, but you know, building an infrared camera involves a lot of technologies. Uh, clearly the sensor is a really important aspect of this, and we do all of that work at FLIR. But beyond just the sensor, um, it's what makes, what really sets this technology, the technology that's in the Zenmuse XT apart, is a lot of the advanced image processing that we've embedded in the camera. So things like being able to have digital detailed enhancement, one of our uh, patented technologies, that be able to pull the edges out of a scene so that you get a much higher level of detail. Auto contrast, really important in the drone community and in, in, in drone applications because you're dealing with really wildly varying backgrounds, looking from the sky to the ground and that sort of thing. So being able to keep the image in, in, in its dynamic range during all of those conditions is super important. And then we have a really amazing technology called smart scene optimization that allows us to really pull the detail, out, the, the contrast detail out of a scene. 
we are we have a fairly diverse business and we are active in a lot of different uh, different areas and this technology is going to fit in to most of them things like power inspection i meant i she saw that in, image before being able to predict where there's going to be a failure before it occurs solar panel inspection you can see in that little thermal image on the right there when there's a defect in a solar panel it will show up as a temperature difference in the solar panel now this is, provides an ability to be able to from the air now with many with very high efficiency be able to find and detect the, and locate those things search and rescue the, the applications are obvious there uh, firefighting I've already talked about that but being able to see through smoke huge and one area it's that's new to us I will admit in the, in the is the precision agriculture area but I can tell you that we've uh, interacted with a number of people who have done quite a bit of research and science in this area, and it's very, very clear thermal imaging is going to play an important role. And the important thing is that right now, we've already seen a lot of applications of aerial technology just using the visible spectrum in these different spaces. But we feel like adding the thermal layer is going to open up a new range of applications in each one of these industries and really expand the creative and innovative uses of how people are using this technology. So that's it for us from the City by the Bay. We hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.